Step into my office. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back. Pedro Dora Santiago with another daily vlog. Today is Friday. It's just past 11 o'clock. We got our first order of the day. It's $10.22. It was two orders, but it was low miles. It was Panera. One order is five bucks, one order is five twenty-two. I'm gonna go ahead and start my day off with that. No problem. Leaves me in a good spot to get another one. But enough rambling about that. What are we gonna talk about today? So the second half of this video, I'll tell you right now, so you can decide if you want to stay through the whole thing, is an order I did yesterday. We're going to play a little game. Guess what the hidden tip was, all right? And uh, you're going to see I took an order, a very unicorn order, very odd how it was offered, but let's, you guys are going to see that, a little footage from yesterday. But what might have brought you here is five things Five signs that mean you might need to quit gig work. Whether it's DoorDash or Uber, or Eats or Lyft or Grubhub or Instacart. It's always something going on with these apps, right? And they always got new people coming on, so they always know it's just a revolving door, right? And these apps aren't built for us to do them for a long time. I would say maybe 1% of people can make a living off this and do it for a long time. Um, which is good. If you know what you're doing, you can do it. If you got other things planned out, maybe one more stream of income. Definitely feasible. But for 99% of us, in my opinion, it should not be something that we do full time or for a long period of time. Okay, you got to have a plan. So, five signs that maybe the gig work has worn its welcome with you and you're just kind of over it. Let's talk about it. happening right that wait was brutal at predco but it is what it is i picked up a uber though uh in route for 11 bucks i was like yeah i'm gonna take that so we're gonna wind up we'll be at 21 i guess but this breadco one of the breadco is gonna be more than the uh 522 it's showing or five bucks so either way works good not a bad first hour i'll take it because it's gonna wind up being almost an hour to complete it but it is what it is so first sign that you might not be in might, might, might not be doing the, the right thing right now with this gig work or it's just time for you to find something else listen the first one's real simple but it needs to be said if you're not making money doing this and you're struggling to make money in your market whether it's through oversaturation um, the market's just gotten slower uh, it's dried up like you know there's a lot of reasons right if you're not making, if you're not being profitable and making money out here and you're wasting time and you're becoming frustrated with it, and you're not able to make the ends meet, why are you doing it? Most of us are going to work to make money, right? We got to pay the bills. Whatever that means for you, it's personal, depending on market and your cost of living and where you live and what you need to do and what bills you got. Like, it's going to be different for everybody. Some people need to make 100 bucks a day, 150, 200, 250. Some people need to make 50 bucks a day, a little side cash if they have other W-2 or something like that. But don't continue to do this if you're not being profitable. At some point, you got to stop. So you got to treat the gig work, you know, as far as monetary goes, like a W-2 or any, if you have a small business, whatever. If you're not making money and you're doing it for a while, like it's not like you just have a bad day or a bad week or, you know, you got to give it a little bit of time, right? And be patient. But at the end of the day, if you're not making what you need to make, get another app do another side hustle it could be you could walk dog you could do people's laundry you could there's a I, i've mentioned other things in other videos like but if your area you're not able to do what you need to do and it's slowed down stop switch it up a lot of places are hiring there's no problem going back to a w2 that might be what you need to do for now until you figure it out but use it that's that's the first sign like if you're not able to make what you need to make and you're becoming frustrated with it why keep doing the same thing? Also, now obviously we know what we make every day because the app tells us that. You need to know your profits after expenses every single week or month. If you don't know that number, you're doing the wrong hustle. There's a new stadium again, guys. Had to give it to you. And yesterday, I think I said the team was FC. It's SC. It's soccer, St. Louis, baby. Awesome. Love to see in, love seeing new development. I mean, this is cool. Pretty cool. I gotta see if the tax parents paid paid for this if it was private probably tax money but i gotta look into that order dropped off all right on to the last one let's go let me let me give you all number two real quick while we're in the elevator it might be an echo listen 
If you don't have a plan, if you're doing this just to do it, you're doing it wrong, in my opinion. Be working towards something. You're betting on yourself, right? Have a plan. It could be a six month plan, one year, two years. You have to be building towards something, doing this kind of side hustle, okay? Figure out what that is right now. And if you don't have that, and you can't come up with your, your why, Stop. So some of you might be saying, Pedro, why are you telling me to stop? Like you talk about this is a good side hustle and you know building towards something. That's fine. I'm not talking to everybody. But if you meet some of these signs, you just you might have to reconsider. This kind of work, especially doing it full time, isn't gonna be for everybody because you have to you have to understand you're not putting nobody's putting money aside for your taxes. You, there's no 401k, there's no paid time off, there's car expenses, like there's a lot of things that some of us don't consider when we get into this line of work, right? So if your market's slow, like we talked about, you're not making good money or what you need to make, and you don't have a plan as to what you're really building towards, this isn't the kind of work for you because you could go out and make a hundred bucks, but what did you really make? You didn't make a hundred dollars, okay? After taxes and gas, the wear and tear you're putting on your car, which we can, I can make a whole video about that because I don't, I don't necessarily agree like with all that as being that big of a deal depending on how well you take care of your car what kind of car it is how many miles things like that okay there are some cars that are good to dash in and some that aren't but it is what it is but you have to have you know number two like we're saying you gotta have something that you're working towards otherwise this is just gonna you're just you're just doing it to do it and before you know it, you're gonna be doing it for a year or two and it's like what what, what am I what's really going on here right or you'll get deactivated and you don't have a backup plan. Have, all right, number three. This is gonna be a little different based on your market and your background and things like that. Maybe you have a degree in something, you're a, specialty, you're a specialist in a particular field or something, you have some kind of trade. If you're doing this part-time and you can make good money doing it, you can. We've proven that, a lot of people have proven that. If you're doing it, you've noticed you've had some really great days and bad days, but overall you can make good dollars per hour if you know what you're doing. But in your particular region or market, is this the best side hustle? Have you done your research? In St. Louis, I haven't really done, uh, I've done a little bit of research, not enough, but I know that this market is very busy for food delivery, so I know I can make consistently the same thing every day if I put the same amount of effort. Like, I know that. So I feel, conf I feel confident in my decision making. But in your market, is it something else? Have you looked into that? Have you talked to people? Have you researched it? Have you talked to other, have you talked to friends and family? What are they doing as a side hustle? Do they have one? Maybe you're doing the wrong side hustle. And with the amount of stress sometimes this can bring to you and your car and your wallet, are you doing the wrong side hustle? Do your research. You might have to quit because you're in the wrong business. Delivery complete, no drop off action, but let's go on. There's the right, we switched zones, but I knew that going in. So we're in downtown where I wanted to be for lunchtime. It's 11.55, so we actually completed. It took us 50 minutes to make $21.22. It is what it is. Should have been a lot quicker, but that yeah, break code kind of hugged me up. So let's see what we get, and then we'll talk about number four. We just got bombarded with about six Raisin Cane's orders. Raisin Cane's is right here, I'm right by it. And they were all, I'm on a dollar peak, mind you. They were $4, $3.50, $3.50, $3.50. come on, people. You want your chicken, you got a tip. Let's go. I mean, let, I'll go there, but I ain't going there for a couple dollars. I want you guys put in the comments, what's the absolute lowest offer you would take? Miles not included. Like, what is the lowest amount of money you'll go to pick up an order and drop it off? Boom. Look at this one. Six twenty-five. dollars They hide tips on those 95% of the time. 13 items from a wasabi sushi place. Going one mile? Oh, all day long. Let's see how much the subtotal is on this bad boy. $40. They count in chopsticks, three chopsticks, three forks, three soy sauces. So nine items out of that 13. Hey, I'm not complaining, but I'm a little surprised. It's still a great order. Probably gonna be more than $6.25. Let's go. Sometimes those item counts will be, they'll fool you. They'll fool, fool you. But I know now this place counts forks and chopsticks and soy sauce. So now I know maybe if this order was going more miles, I probably still would have taken it on the chance of the items. But now I know if I see it, let's say that's going six miles, I probably say no because 
they're counting forks and so one more thing to take into consideration with this order is i want a dollar peak so it would have been 525 without the dollar peak this could be a three dollar tip on here we just pulled up so i'm actually kind of a little nervous because well it doesn't matter the mobster money is good but it's not going to be what i expect right, here we go wasabi sushi bar they got these uh what do you call them tesla charging stations over here showed you guys this in the video a long time ago but reason number four listen if this is causing you stress you're unhealthy you're not sleeping you're working too much you're not seeing kids your kids like you're just not generally happy you should never do any kind of work if you're not happy and you're stressed out reason number four sign number four that this might not be for you if your health ain't good your family balance ain't right you got to figure it out do something else this order has one of those lovely leave that door handed to me. Oh Lord. And this is a doctor. Said it many times, we can go to the moon, we can do open heart surgeries, we can make cures, we can do all these great things in life. We could write books and literature and compose music, but we struggle. Some of us struggle when it comes to ordering takeout. Simple instructions. This was a horror. I got so excited, I saw 625. I missed dissect this where this is and the instructions and the part this is horrible this is a bad order if this isn't 1025 it's horrible it's horrible i made my first mistake of the day this is going to a spot that is not convenient to get to this is a really bad order i just took oh okay so the the pin has me right here that's the address but it has me basically walking i don't know probably 0.3 of a mile on the other side of that building Oh, you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. Oh, this order's got me all sideways right now. Peak lunchtime. Made a horrible decision. Look at your drop-offs, guys. I should have zoomed in on this. I got excited. Made a bad decision. Complete shit show. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. This is... Reason number four, if you get, if you get stressed, you shouldn't be doing this because some people are going to test your test your patience with instructions. Uh, $40 in food, $3 tip. That was bad. And then I completed the delivery. I didn't even wait for it. I set it down. Not doing that. DoorDash just gives me a subway order. Just shows up. So... If you would become frustrated, annoyed, stressed out because DoorDash gives you orders that you don't want, customers are just kind of ignorant with directions and consideration of where they work, this might not be you the job. You get orders like this, dollar peak, no tip. Middle of lunch, somebody's ordering lunch and they don't give you a dollar or two, this might not be the line of work for you. Find something else. I usually try to stay positive and just figure, hey, it is what it is, decline, decline, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe put them in the trash but if it takes too much of your energy you might need to find something else so right, we got a pokey doke pokey bowls 0.4 miles 763 uber eats i'll do that let's go we got this order right here 500 feet or yard i don't know them which is right next to me so i'm gonna pick this one up pick that one up easy peasy so that's pokey doke right next door is the other one Let's see if this place is ready. Just came in though. Okay, okay cool, I'll come back. Thank you. All right, we got both of those. Took a little time, but I was right there. Like literally I was so close. Sometimes it happens when you're too close to a place. If they don't dispatch it in a, accordingly, it could be a little, still fine. We'll make what, 13 or 14 bucks for 15 minutes worth of work. So, fifth reason, and this is the most popular reason anybody quits a job or leaves or doesn't want to do it anymore. It's the number one. I'm gonna give you guys a minute to think about it. It's not rocket science, it's very easy. You got it? The number one reason people quit a job is their boss. They either don't like them, they don't agree with the company's alignment of morals or values or the mission statement, or they don't like their boss or bosses. If you don't like what DoorDash is doing, if you don't agree with it, and I, I, I hear you, stop. So 
So these orders are literally down the street from one another. Absolutely fantastic. Got super lucky. The law of averages tend to work out, guys. Says ring the bell. Oh, excuse me. I could have walked this down, but I was like, yeah, I gotta walk back. I'll just drive. It's literally a block up the street. It's right there. There's the building right there. So we're gonna park right here. But listen, I know I didn't embark any wisdom on you guys today, okay? I realize that, but this might have resonated with some of you guys. You gotta understand this isn't this kind of work isn't gonna be for everybody, especially if you're not making money, if you're unhappy, if you're stressed out. If you don't don't like what DoorDash does, and I stop, many people have done it. Take a look in the mirror. Is this really what I want to be doing right now? Let's go drop it off. Huh. Okay. It says contactless delivery. That's what we're going to do. All right. That was the door desk. We got an Uber Eats. $8. You can see here for uh, two miles. It's an Indian restaurant that's up, kind of up the road. Let's go pick that one up. See, I like the short mileage. I've always preached that. That's when, when my base pay got went from three to 225. I was not happy because 75 cent each order for me, it begins to add up when you do 20 to 25 a day. But I like the short mileage ones if I can, less miles. More just profit. pulled up, that was two blocks. Hopefully it's ready. This place, usually it's ready. So let's walk in and see. I feel like they dispatch it really well. Oh, I forgot the name, I'm gonna have to, let's see. Hold on. Looking for Darcel. Hmm? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. How about you? I'm doing well, sir. I have a Darcel. What company is that? Uh, Uber or Postmates. Yeah. Darcel. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You go on, sir. Okay. Thank you. Expected. Ready. Know your merchants, guys. Know what merchants you can trust and which ones you can't. So my question to you. So my question to you guys is: Is any of those five? Do you meet any of those? Do you meet just a couple of them? Listen, this is just me. I'm just, I'm a guy that rambles in his car and delivers Papa John's pizza and chicken McNuggets, okay? I'm nobody, all right? This is me just rambling, giving you my thoughts and my opinions and my ideas. And maybe you'll vibe with some of them and maybe you won't. That's okay. Find a channel that works for you. Maybe this one works for you. Maybe I can give you some entertainment. Maybe you can laugh at my expense. I'm good either way. But think about it. Don't be doing this, and I've been saying it since day one, just to be doing it. Because it's fun, and I can make break down your numbers, have a plan. And if you don't know what those things are, figure it out. And if you can't, you got to stop, because this ain't going to be the line of work for you long term. All right? Let's get into yesterday's. Let's teleport back to yesterday. Let's play this little game, like I said in the beginning. Guess the tip on this order. Hope you guys enjoy this clip. Stacked order came in, 12 bucks, two merchants. 26 items, it said. Five guys? in Quidoba, I said, and it was 12 bucks, five miles. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's 216. I said, one of these has gotta be big. So the five guys is two items. I'm like, Quidoba, $195 worth of food at Quidoba. And it's showing me $6. How much do you guys think this is gonna be? This could be one of those unicorn orders. It's going downtown to, I think like an office. It's, it could, who knows? But $195 worth of food? Oh yeah, we're gonna take that. 26 items perked my interest. Put in the comments what you guys think, how much you think this is gonna be. I'm gonna guess right now, it's $195 worth of food. It's showing me six butts, it's a stacked. So by itself, it would have been, I guess 625, 650. Okay, you know what? This order, this order is going to be, let me get my spidey senses out my Nostradamus brain real quick. It's gonna be 30 bucks. It's gonna go from six bucks to 30. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let's do this in real time. Let's see how much this bad boy is. First pickup, five guys. Now, disclaimer. I share with you because as you guys are out there, gonna make knowledge is power. When you have big orders, I've been burned a couple times. Big orders from like hospitals. This one's going to like a certification school. If the one person that's ordering it, let's say they have a budget because it's a for work kind of deal, or the one person ordering it doesn't believe in tipping, like 
this could totally be a ten dollar tip on a two hundred dollars worth of food which i'm really doing the same amount of work for real like so it's not like it's a horrible offer but like when you see a big ticket amount you you kind of expect more it's just how it works people usually tip off a subtotal so i say that because i where it's going is like 50 50 whether or not it's going to be 30 bucks or like ten dollars it could go either way really obviously i'm hoping for it to be 30 dollars. that would be like yes sir it'd be a 36 dollar from a 12 dollar order to a 36 dollar order that would be fantastic fantastic but let's see what we get put in the comments what you guys think this order is going to wind up being everything that you know it was stacked it's quidoba 195 dollars worth of food it's going to like a cpr training center is what that's what the google maps tells me it's a big building so it's either that or there is like a couple other little businesses right there but i'm thinking based on the size it's going to this particular like medical training center workplace let's go pick it up and see what we get let's go quidoba and my day early this is a good size order we're gonna be done early no nah, sorry okay. Uh -oh. the guy said they've been working on this order since one it's 12 it's 2 30. somebody's about to get a burrito or a bowl that's been made an hour and a half ago <laughs> oh these this camera don't even do these are two huge bags of food let's go delivery number one dropped off six dollars four dollar tip off to see what this big one does for us. Let's go. I'm getting a little nervous dropping this off. She said she's gonna meet, I texted him saying I was almost there. She said she's gonna meet me at the front of the building. I don't know what to expect. If it's not, if it's if it's only gonna be six bucks, I'm actually not gonna be surprised. I went into the app to see and it automatically gives a 15% gratuity. Let's see what Delivered. Let's go. All right, we dropped it off. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a split screen on what it is. Yes, sir! More than I thought. $47, a $41 tip. So that means they actually gave a 20% tip, I think, based on the math. Wow. I almost didn't take it because it was five guys. It was stacked. It was 12 bucks, five miles. It's a good order. That's a unicorn order, kind of. They hit it with the five guys one. The drop-offs were really close, though. What a fantastic order. I mean, come on. That was fantastic for the amount of time I spent on it. I mean, and I was doing an Uber Eats order, drop off as I got that DoorDash, I still took it. So, wow. Moral of the, moral of the story, you're gonna get those. They don't happen often. You're gonna have those unicorns that get hidden in with another one. I cannot stress enough. Know your area, know your market. When you see high item counts, from places like Quidoba. Um, anyways, if it's a Taco Bell with a high item count, that's sauce packets. McDonald's, other places that might include utensils. I saw a high item, that's what perked my interest. Even by itself, if that was only six items, it's still a good order because it's 12 bucks for five miles for you know 25 minutes of work. But Almost. Who was the winner? Did you think $40 tip? $41 tip? Did you think I was going to get clowned and get like a $6 or $10 tip or no tip? Who knows? But I was off by 11 bucks technically, but I mean, fantastic. Good order. You guys are fantastic. I like to show you guys what I get out here. Have a little fun. Bet on you. Bet on you. Set goals one day at a time. Positive vibes all day. See you tomorrow. Little vending machine action for you guys. Next tussle. Here we go. Next one's gonna have snacks. And the credit card machine. Let's teleport, teleport back to Friday. All right, instructions say to ring doorbell. Don't leave food outside. Somebody will open the door for you. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. That was super quick, so actually this order is fantastic. I don't care if I have to wait out here for five minutes, it's still worth it. Doorbell? Where's the doorbell? Is this a doorbell? Let's see. 
No, nope. looks like a pe keypad. Is that a doorbell? Oh, I think the door opened. Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Lady was super nice. You know, you're walking into a school, like, you just get. It brings back memories, man. Some of these school teachers, man, are underpaid and overworked, and they're just trying to do good things. And I don't know. I always like meeting teachers that are just, they have an aura about them and the energy is just different. They're not all like that, but that, we're humans, right? But she was super nice. So, on to the next one. Did you guys guess the right amount on that order? That was a good one, wasn't it? That was from yesterday, Thursday. Had a great, I mean, I didn't go out yesterday until, I think it was like one o'clock. And I think I made 90 bucks in like two and a half hours, which half of that was that order basically, but it was great. It was fantastic. So, um, it's, what time is it? It's 1254. It's Friday. We back. You guys saw me just drop off that order at school. Listen, five reasons you might need to quit this work if it's not for you. Figure it out, man. Talk to your wife, your husband, your significant other. Your, 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 whoever it is in your life, your kids, if they're older and they can, you know, get their input too, man. Do what you do. What makes you happy ultimately is what I got to say. And some people might say, you just got to just work to make money and make sure you have all the, yeah, we got to work to make money. You can't live on the streets. Duh. But what's the cost? You got to be happy, man. And you got to think, what is your plan? What's your long term? What do you really want to be doing? This, this gives a good side hustle and it's good short term. If you lost job from pandemic or you got laid off for whatever reason, or you're just in between things. It's a good way to make some money and make the ends meet, but it's not gonna stand the test of time for you. It's just not, unless you have a plan. Bet on you, Seckles, one day time. See you tomorrow.